don't stand a chance, dude. Uh. Hey, what's going to be? It's Browsing Life here today. Today, we're showing you guys the best XM4 class, just the best loadout in general for Call of Duty Cold War. This gun, it's probably one of the most consistent weapons, and I'm definitely going to be making a video on it when it does migrate over to Warzone. But for now, guys, this is one of the better builds that I've actually found. I'll be showing you guys here in a second. The gameplay you guys are going to be watching, I end up going on a 44 kill streak in combined arms on Miami. I don't know. I just went absolutely off. As you guys saw in the intro clip, I also went off again with the War Machine. It was just, the War Machine is so much fun, man. That's how you get a ton of kills really easy, really fast. So, if just for starters, if you're not rocking that, I mean, I highly recommend you rock that. Anyways, hopping on over into the class setup, guys, for our M4A1. We got the Microflex LED. We got the agency suppressor, the 13.7 inch extended barrel for the body. We got the SOF targeted designator the, for the underbarrel. We got the bruiser grip, the magazine. We got our 40 round speed mags. I might toss on the salvo 50 rounds. I don't think I had them unlocked at the time. And then for the handle, we got the serpent wrap and the for the, of course, the stock for the final thing, we got the uh, buffer tube. But anyways, guys, for the most part, I built this class to be stealthy. I also built it that way I'd be able to take on more gunfights and be able to reload really quickly. That's why I got that 40 round magazine and the uh, suppressor as well. It's just, if it's my play style, I prefer to play at range. I can also play up close as well. That's why I wanted to make sure I didn't absolutely tank my hip fire because if in this game, if you guys didn't know already, the hip fire for basically every single weapon is just really bad. So then also moving into my secondary, I'm not going to give you the attachments for this one. This because it's not focused on that. But we have the stim shot, C4 field mic. We got paranoia, scavenger, and ghost. I highly recommend if you're able to switch ghost to ninja. That allows you to uh, sound horror. I'm pretty sure actually before in this gameplay that I'm showing you guys, I was running ninja. I really like running ninja. It's one of my favorite perks. Especially in this game, I don't know what it is, but as of recently, I've been really able, like the footsteps are really, really good. I, I don't know, I've just been able to really predict it, and it's allowed me to go on these insane gun streaks and kill streaks. So anyways guys, now I'm going to hop over into the gameplay. If you guys are brand new, make sure to hit that subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it. Drop a like down below, let me know down in the comment section what weapon you guys want to see next. I'm probably going to have an MP5 video out pretty soon, so make sure to stay tuned for that, and enjoy the video. Please don't come up through the window. Feed me. Okay. Destroyed, dude. Don't ever do that again. I want to try him. Oh, what the? Plus, they play a new game. Teammates. That was wrong, obviously. This mine's gotta go. Almost had a chance, dude. Oh, uh, it's funny. I 
Hello. Oh, I need your weapon, sir. Oh, I got ammo. Never mind. Hello. Appreciate it. Oh, I got full ammo. Oh, baby. We got to get that county UAV out of here, though. It's pretty annoying. Can't lie. 25. Nice. Brutal, brutal. I think combined arms is definitely my favorite mode. This map plays okay. I think it definitely... If you're going for high kill games, Cartel is definitely the best, but... You know, this map, once you start learning the spawns a little bit, starts to play very well. I just really wish the, these dudes would stop throwing these counter babies up, man. They make me have to play way slower because I got no idea where they are. Because you got to, you know, keep in mind that there's 12 enemies on the team. And you can't keep track of them, especially on a map like this. Oh my gosh. He saw me years before I saw him. He's in 2021 already, man. There's a 29. There we go. There's the nuclear. Let's go, baby. Yo, drop a like if you haven't already. Dude, this is so much more fun to play, man. It's so much more fun to play. Especially, you know, that war machine streak we have is pretty sick. I'm hoping that these uh, enemies are able to cap this objective so we can keep this game going, you know? I need these counter UAVs gone, though, man. These are literally, like, they're not just, like, gameplay breaking, but they're, you know, they're not epic, <laughs> to say the least. They are coming for me. Hello. I will meet you with brute force. AKA the grenade launcher. Hello. Should I stay here? I got no reason to push up. You guys gotta come to me. It'd be pretty stupid to push in. Or, like, you know, any further than I already am. Pop this armor real quick. I need, uh... This grenade launcher cooldown to be over! I want to keep getting this XP! GG! 85 and 11! Bro, this game is just so much more fun to play when you've got an account that uh, is reverse boosted. You can join, man. I mean, it's not like I'm the only one doing it either, you know? Meep and Zippy and uh, Ghoster, you know, they're all clearly doing it. It's pretty obvious. I was just the one who's clearly better, so, yeah. Anyways, hope you did enjoy the gameplay. That was a... I'm not sure what gun streak, but that was a pretty decent gun streak. So, if you guys did enjoy the gameplay, and I'm going to be continuing to post these nukes and whatnot, trying to give you guys the best class setup. So, um, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.